Hello, welcome to 101nursing.com. My name is Priscilla, and today we'll be talking about sinus bradycardia. Sinus bradycardia. Sinus bradycardia is caused by a malfunction of the SA node uh, due to damage, whether it's MI, drugs, um, genetic disposition, and cardiac output drops. Um, fun fact. Um, lots of athletes can operate in normal sinus bradycardia that is not due to um, any sorts of um, heart damage. It's just that the, the heart has found a better way to pump efficiently and at lesser beat. I currently operate at about 56 beats per, per minute and the normal is about 60 to 100. And that's completely normal for athletes or people that... Um, work out a lot. But moving along, let's read this strip of sinus bradycardia. So is there a P wave? Yes, there is a P wave for formed on every single and this this is all that the this is how long the strip goes, so let's move right on. Is there a QRS? Yes, there is four QRSs. Um there's four QRSs. Is there are is there a P wave with every QRS? Yes, there is a P wave with every QRS. Is it regular? Yes, it is regular. Now measuring regularity, we find we have to take our little paper strip and hit every single QRS tip, the tip of every QRS, and measure it to the next one and to the next to see if it's the same width apart. Um, so yes, it is regular. Is the PRI normal? PR interval normal. PQ, PR interval normal. So let's blow this up to see how we can tell. So remember, this box right here is 0 0.04. So this is our P wave. And then P, and then what? How many boxes we have? One, two, three, four, five boxes. So we have. Oh yeah. So one five boxes and 0 0.04 let me grab my calculator out here So we have how many boxes do we have? One, four, five boxes. So our PR, PR, P to R interval is um, 20, and that is normal. So um, what is our QRS interval? So QRS, and that looks like two. And our QRS is zero to 0 0.04 to 12 and it's 0 0.8 so that is normal is our rate normal nope our rate is abnormal because we have four beats in a 60 second in a 60 second timing and even look at this Q, P, Q, uh, look at this T wave it's really really long it's taking forever to, for this T wave to even come down so no, this is not a normal sinus rhythm, but I mean, this is this this is a sinus tachycardia, and that's how you know it's sinus tachy. How are you going to see the signs and symptoms? What are the signs and symptoms of this? You're going to have uh, dizziness, paler, pale, pale person, pale faces, cool, hypotension, angina, chest pain, decreased blood pressure, no bueno, SOB, shortness of breath. 
and decrease cardiac output because the heart is not beating at a proficient uh, rate. And that's for our people that don't normally operate at a sinus brady. How are we going to treat this? We're going to give them anticoagulant agent. Atropine is going to be our drug. Dopamine and uh, acetaminophen. And asymptomatic. If it's if they're asymptomatic, don't treat it. Like you're not gonna come and give me atropine or dopamine because I'm in sinus brady. Uh, it's because that's how I normally operate, and I'm a young person. So, and even older people can operate as at a sinus brady, but they're not symptomatic, and their heart they they're walking and they're talking and they're looking good. You're not gonna put a pacemaker, or give them drugs to um, increase that rate. Thank you. Bye, girl.